Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review, which I guess it's not really a little bit, it is a review of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream Glosses lipsticks anyway i had hauled these um a few weeks ago when my friend sarah was here and i had someone to ask if i would do a review of them and so anyway i personally have two of them i have this one that's kind of a corally orangey peachy coral and it's in the color antwerp i don't know what that is and then soft and then this pinky color is in the t color tokyo and i actually meant to google antwerp Maybe their city, since this one's Tokyo. I don't know. If you know what Antwerp is, let me know. And if it's something I should know, don't make me feel like an idiot. Okay? <laughs> so, anyway, um, I have on right now, I have on the Tokyo, and I have it topped with my NARS Turkish Delight. And yesterday, I kind of did, I didn't do like a check-in like I normally do when I'm doing a full, like, review first impressions but I did take my iPhone and when I thought about it I would kind of show you my lips um so I'm gonna insert some of that footage into this video so anyway these let me read you a little bit because it's not a normal lip gloss um so that is what it looks like and let me swatch that's the swatch of the Tokyo which reminds me of Max Cream Cup which I constantly talk about Max Cream Cup one day I'll just buy it and then here is Antwerp. So you can see they're very, very pigmented and they're very different than any lip um, gloss or anything I've ever actually used on my lips. And I think they're less than $5. And usually with NYX at Ulta, you can get one by one, get one half off. So anyway, it says soft matte lip cream. It's not lipstick, nor is it a gloss. It's nothing like you've experienced before. It's lipstick cream that goes on silky but looks soft matte. And that is just really sums it up. To me, when you put it on, it feels almost silicone-y because it's so smooth. Like it's so creamy and, well, not creamy. It's very silky. It just kind of glides right on more like a silicone kind of product but it's i don't think it's a silicone product um but it's not like a gloss usually i can just throw on a gloss and i don't need a mirror this i feel like i do need a mirror like a lipstick um it is matte and so when i put it on it goes on that real silky silicone feel and it takes about 30 min 30 minutes 30 that would be ridiculous 30 seconds for it to kind of set and when it sets it's matte and it's on it's dry on your lips that is when I usually top it with a gloss. Now, yesterday I tried it, and that's when I'll put the I'll put the footage in. I tried it alone because I haven't tried it alone because I'm not a huge matte lip product person. But I tried it alone, and once it set after about the 30 seconds, within probably 10-15 minutes, my lips started feeling dry, and they didn't feel like. I've got on this lipstick that's drying out my lips and you know how your lips are kind of like raisin in and they feel like like gross it felt just kind of like I needed to lick my lips like just normal lips that do, that that just doesn't have anything on them um, I didn't like that feeling so I do like it with a gloss on top but if you like a matte lip they are really nice it does take about 30 seconds for it to set and then it pretty it stays pretty good i'm not gonna say it's like all day wear i do reapply but nothing like a normal gloss so anyway i'm gonna take off what i have on my lips right now okay i'm taking that off and i'm gonna just put both of them on for you okay so the one i just had on is the tokyo the one i said it's like cream cup and i'm gonna put that one on and you can see it's very pigmented and it kind of has the color of a lipstick so that's why I say I need a mirror and it is like you can layer it so you can make you know it darker it's layerable so anyway that is without anything on it and it still feels a little slippery like when I touch it like 
you know put my lips together it feels slippery it doesn't feel sticky at all um and it doesn't really feel like a lipstick either it's what the description says you've never experienced anything like this it definitely feels very different it all um, to me it feels most like if i had like a silicone primer on my skin but on my lips is kind of what that feels like so it still hasn't totally set up but like i said it does take about 30 seconds and then you'll feel it when it's just kind of not slippery anymore and then that's when i take a gloss and put back on but with anything i'm just going to go in and put on the other and the other is Antwerp, which I really don't like that word, but maybe if I knew what it was, I would. And you can see how pigmented that is. So Antwerp, I also top with a gloss. Oh, and they smell good. They smell kind of vanilla-y. I don't know. They smell good. Whatever they smell like. That one's actually, that one's already dry. So that one just dried faster than the other. But when it's dry, let's see if it does. Okay, so it's not, <laughs> it's not totally dry, but it feels dry on my lips. And I haven't actually done that when it's totally dry because I always top it. It's been about a minute and we'll try it on my hand again okay so it's getting better so you know if you want one that's not going to transfer i'm not going to give it a full amount of time my bet is it doesn't transfer very easily because of the way it does dry um at this point it doesn't feel like i need to lick my lips but it's starting to dry but it's not making my lips like come in or crackle it just it looks really really nice so if you like a matte lip um you could do this and then just put like a chapstick on oh well that might not make it matte but you know what i mean if you need like that feel but um i think it looks really nice so that's that and then i have been topping it with this ulta number 17 and it's kind of um a corally it's got some gold flecks to it and this is what i had on in the video um I think my July favorites and I had some people ask me what I had on my lips okay so that is with the gloss and the lip color so that's those two right there so I am cooking dinner and I put this um, gloss on or cream or whatever about 15 minutes ago and I don't know if you can tell it still looks really nice but it is definitely to the point that it is it feels very dry it doesn't feel like crackly dry like a lipstick but it feels like dry lips like I need some chapstick it's not like that uncomfortable like lipstick your lips are shriveling up though but i definitely am itching to put some gloss on but i'm going to try to see how long i can go um without doing it so that is at 15 minutes since i applied it so we will see okay so it has been almost two hours it is 6 50 and i put this on at five o'clock and I have been cooking, I have been tasting, I made like a milkshake thing. I mean, I've really been like putting this to the test and not intentionally, <laughs> but um, it's still on there. I mean, you can definitely see that it's wearing away, but I mean, for what I have just put it through for two hours, it's still on there. Now, keep in mind, I did not top it with a gloss or anything. So, if you topped it with the gloss, it might not last as long. I'll actually do that now. I will reapply, and then I'll top it with the gloss. And then I will try to remember to check back in in a little bit. So, anyway, I've known that it that I liked it, but I haven't tested it. But I wanted to test it before I filmed my review so anyway i'm kind of impressed and i'm about to leave my house looking like this and it's not pretty but i don't care all right i'll be back in a little bit
if I remember. Okay, so I chickened out, and I didn't wear exactly what I had on. I did pull my hair down, but I'm still no makeup. Okay, so I swapped the colors to Tokyo, which is the more creamy color, and then I've topped it with NARS Turkish Delight, and I had on the Antwerp, which was a little more, a little bit more orangey coral, and so I just had Turkish Delight here in front of me, and so I wanted to go with something a little bit more subdued, but they're, they wear the exact same. So, here's what we look like. I just applied it. And it is 7 o'clock. So, I will check back and let you know how long this lasts with a gloss on top. Okay, see you later. Okay, so it's been an hour. It's now 8 o'clock. Hold on, baby. And it's still on there. It's not as glossy as it was, but it still looks good. And I'm getting ready to eat dinner, so I might not check in anymore. But, yeah, I like it. Okay, so I just got finished eating, and it did not last for my meal with the gloss. So, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway. Okay, just want to let you know. You liked the footage, and I hope it helped. If you have any more questions, please leave it below. I will try to answer your questions. That's really all I know to say about these, but I have been wearing them non-stop since I got them. I love these products. So, anyway, like I said, I think they're like between five and six dollars but these are the two colors i have in tokyo and antwerp if you like cream cut by mac tokyo is pretty much an exact dupe for that and yeah so i'm really pleased with these they do feel different than anything i've ever used they do dry to a matte consistency and then i like to top it with the gloss but if you like a matte look then i think you will love these so anyway i hope you like this video if you did and it helped please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please subscribe and as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time bye